Uh, good afternoon everyone, this is Jeff Arcus. Uh, welcome again to the daily webinar today, Friday 6th of September 2018. It's around 12.42 p.m. Remind you this one is not meant to be a financial advice, this is only an education presentation. Please consider time and condition before you continue. Same way you're receiving this recording. As well, thank God for another day into my life and I pray His blessings today in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, my friends, uh, gonna do just a very quick uh, presentation. Life is no easy on my side. We've been sent pictures in, uh, in our phones with uh, firearms, three pictures of that, and uh, police things like that. Until they don't fight, they don't shoot the firearms, nothing that will be taking place. Um, yeah, we live in very difficult times, so I hope so you understand and, and uh, never happened this in my whole life here in Australia. This is something new that I don't know how to handle. I don't know whether it's justice or, or, or I don't know, it's just very difficult, but never mind. Market continue, <coughs> what a week we have. So in the new size we have today, the non-farm payroll, which is, is a good idea to stay away. And of course, after that, there is not much there plus apart from 230 the uh, chair uh, speaks over there so let's look at yesterday as I say we received this death threat that um there so we could not I could not do nothing so we look look through the week wonderful week you know three three weeks turning point if I know best in my abilities you know this is when um, I decide just to take you know this way on um, on the way up, you know, and this is, that's all I know, especially it comes to a level of support. So everything, and then the index meet as well is with us. So Monday, uh, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, and uh, th Friday. So it's not Thursday because I, I have that. So we have completely another pullback. So we enter into the fifth weeks of up and down, up and down. Look, inside here, we couldn't make some, some trades. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, um, look, this is a different kind of strategy that you can use to trade over there. So, um, so yeah, so this is, um, you know, it's better for us just to, to see what happened and, and let, it, let it run from here. So Euro-US, it was just continuing his way down, very small. Um, I, I managed to break even with that. Now this is today. Um, now, as as I say, you know that 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 move of the whatever uh, it comes now to a level of resistance with incredible pin bar. The U.S. the euro is weak. The U.S. has actually, if we look in the the bar of the daily, and uh, and here we got some kind kind of doji candle, or very close to a support. If I draw a line over there, possible we are in the golden candle. So the euro now. How's that? Now I have here uh, is a 2013, so it's 20 pips maximum stop loss to the break of here, and um, and yeah, so that's that's mainly I'm looking at the moment, looking for the ATR of the last 20 bars. See that that could work. Then in the rest, really Monday, Tuesday, and Sunday, Wednesday showed up, and, and you know it just. The pound has, um, uh, what is the pound? Oh, that was, which one was that? CB, C3 pound. So that's today. Oh, 23. Uh, I did a mistake here. Let me see if I can correct it. Uh, that should be two. Oh, no, three, sorry. Three. Okay. So let me close that, open another pound US here. And that it is Monday, Tuesday, everything going okay. And Sunday, Wednesday, the market start turning around. We still have at that time. So Thursday, it just went completely crazy. And now Friday, the same. So Thursday and Friday has been a completely turning point. We have a very strong index meta scenario and, and again. You know, it's break down, it's breaking up. Let's wait for the pullback. That's why I feel confidence with the golden candle strategy. You know, in the in the way that, it, um, you know, you can trade the breakouts. Definitely, you can. 
But if you are, you know, patient to be good enough, you know, it, it's just much better the, the GCF strategy. So if this is a break, because this is what we're looking with the humps, this is a break. This is my, you know, waiting for that opportunity over there. And, and any point like that, you know, is this is, I believe, is the best way to do it. You know, we, we don't worry about, you know, these spiky moves that, that happen. We know that the market breaks from here. And this is when I'm looking to go short. The market now breaks from there. This is now when I'm looking to go long over there. The market comes back over there. The first turning around, and that would be the same. The market here breaks. That's the golden candle, and that's how it goes. You know, uh, at any point, the market comes over here. We're looking to, to break. Nothing happened. The market breaks over there. And that that's, that's I believe, you know, the, the golden candle is the best strategy ever, you know, that you can take with it, you know. So the breakout always would carry the risk, you know. And at the moment for the next week, I believe that we are sitting in a double bottom with incredible uh, opportunity to maybe have a big rally. Uh, from there, so we'll see as the market goes. Australia, the same. We got a pattern in that. The market has break through the whole week, the pattern. So, what it is. So, yeah, and it just break up over there. Beautiful uh, monthly support. So, again, the market is breaking from there. Let the market to come back, and then we're going to have a good fun. All right. So, that, that's going to be a quite interesting um yeah scenario to to entry over there so next week we're getting really same with the new zealand um so that's uh today yeah so today we got a nice break we don't have much that could say the horizontal we already look at sort of kind of dodgy candle over there so i don't know we are about the midpoint so we we want to trade what it says above and below so so yeah so that's that's how you know um that's how we, we need to make sure doing the that thing canadian big pattern go continue breaking um going in. now we got a break u.s swiss the same went up come back and a big break and look what it is now but now we are actually here in the midline of this you know and for us to trade it should be somewhere over there we got a beautiful there. It's just the volatility is not right. All right. So this is what I, I'm looking here. The volatility is just not right, you know. And 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 like I said, you know, I, I like this kind of steady moves where you can actually sort of kind of predict, you know, from these points what is going to happen. But here, you know, suddenly this is a big drawdown. And, um, and if we're looking to go long over there, um, you know, we are far away from that. And non farm payroll today, and plus both are in the weak side. Swiss is very uh, weak, but I think the euro should be now. Now, this one was quite nice because we're looking um, a nice shoulder head and shoulder from there. The market now has breakout from, from that event. And, um, and of course, if we're looking again over here, um, you know, if, if I said, okay, this is my break, this is my golden candle, entry over there, maybe nothing happened, this is my break, this is my golden candle, nothing happened over here, um, because this is my, my break over there, you know, because that was my last break over here, nothing happened, so now I'm waiting for the break, the market. So it's a nice setup, we got a incredible uh, yen support, this is very initial, we're going to have the three candles uh turning point setups we got the break so we need to wait for the pullback and when the pullback happen we can enjoy this um this nice rally from there you know it's going to be very interesting to see next week after the non-farm payroll relates for those uh trades euro yen i think in the yen crosses the same so we got a uh, uh, there and uh managed to to move my stop loss because i looked at suspicious pound yen breaks down and then of course with this big move surprise um australia yen of course as well break from here uh at that point australia was coming very strong this is amazing how the index meet up at the yen as well was in the top how in the world we can decide over there until the market just break up today uh, yesterday and today and this is where they are our um, consolidation area has living over there, 
we don't see much that we can see over here. So maybe we will be looking uh, now the pullback over there. So nice setups. There's definitely nice setups that we have over there. And um, we will have need to have patience. So New Zealand yen, all the yen crosses are in the same breakout situations. That was there and now it's breaking up. So we're going to wait for the pullback. So definitely it's going to be interesting what happened after that. Okay. So um, now Euro Australia was interesting. We got a trade over there. Now Euro is down, Australian is up. So we got the trade from here, um, the beginning of the week. Um, and that is the break. So that was uh, Wednesday and that's Friday. Break even and possible, you know, continue going to that. So that would be quite nice. Uh, Euro Canadian, the same. So we got a, a late uh, entry, 50 pips loss. Come back to the midline, got the entry, and uh, another moment the stop loss is, you know, five pips, 10 pips away from that. Euro New Zealand, beautiful entry over there. We are below the midpoint. The, the Euro is down. New Zealand is kind of a neutral. In that we got a double double top, double top, shoulder, head and shoulder, beautiful level on the monthly. So that's an indication that this one was for, um, uh, we got the red candle, we got everything that we're looking for over there. And the market and Tuesday and Wednesday and now Friday is on a break even, so nothing to worry about and we can just enjoy it. Pound Australia got a break and um, the market was on a break even over there. And then Pound Canadian had a break, but uh, then suddenly it came up, break even again, and it went the other direction. And uh, Pound New Zealand, we have a break of 50 pips go through, and then 30 pips again, so 80 pips go there. And that's all we have for, for that. Now, as we say before, you know, one of the greatest strategies always is going to be the GC candle. You know, we can see here in the, in the weekly, you know, we, we, we can make the choice of trading, you know, the breakout. But as I say, the breakout always carry his um, his risk. Nothing is beating, you know, when the market breaks and pulls back in there. And that's exactly where everything, you know, tends to work from, from those levels over there, you know. So in that way, you filter the breakouts. <clears throat> You know, if we are over there, look what happened, nothing. So every breakout is, is uh, you know, quite nice opportunity. So when when we come at the end of that bar over there, we are over here. So the only thing we do from there is this is what we're wearing out. So we missed that one there, and that's the opportunities over there. When the index made a point is over there, then we put the, the EA break even, but we do what we know it works the best for for us uh, at the end of the day. So by having the breakout, you know, and if we're coming, for example, in this week over there, you know, sometimes it's, it's very good idea to miss that breakout because, um, you know, when we, when we, um, when we come over here, we're looking for that, uh, uh, a golden candle, even if we, if I were to try uh, there, nothing would happen because the market just come back from that, from that position over there. So that's that's the benefits, as I say, to anyone. You know, the golden candle really is a, is a pattern in his own, uh, you know, thing, and that it is. So, you know, if you don't, if you are not greedy, you know, let the breakout happen. That's all I can suggest to everyone. And when everything is ready, that it is. And from that point, you know, we know that we know here we continue just you know, do the trace, and, and that's the, the EA will take over from, from those. Actually, Richard has upgraded the EA. I will let you know in Monday what the grade are in those ones. But thanks to Richard, we have some kind of a grade. At the moment, I say I'm I going through no very nice moment in my life. It's, it's very, um, very challenging. I would not deny it to any, anybody, but there we are. So here is the same. And... Uh, you know, we're looking at this is our breakout over here. That's the candle, and that's and then we put the EA. We can say the the pullback, the break, whatever it is, but that's what the EA does. The rest, we just find the golden candle, find the spot that we want to be looking, you know, and uh, 
and 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 then there we are, you know. So once we got that one, then let's see, we missed that that uh, two weeks of break, you know. We we are no magicians really in, in this in this business, isn't it? So what we want to be looking is for this this kind of of there. And look how, how beautiful in the four hours, you know. Yes, you missed the first break, you know. Like I said, if you trade the breakouts, please, 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 please do a very small lot size. They're always carrying a risk. But when we have the ABC in place, now it comes the weekly candle close in place. And this is how how we, we need to treat this, this, this tray over and over again because um, it will filter a lot of emotions. It will filter, you know, there... And if we are over here, we're looking only one way. This is where we're going to be next week set up. And here, where we went away is for the index meter. And look how beautiful over there. Even here, you know, looking looking there. The next week, I'm going to talk a little bit about fractals. How can fractals can help us over there? And that can be good runs. All right, my friends, have a nice weekend. I apologize for everything. Like I said, I just need to run to the police station again. It's um, very stressful. I will not deny it to anyone. I spend my nights crying for the situation. Um, I'm desperate, you know, to see a way out of this. I breathe in cold. Um, uh, my nervous is in a big mess. But look, my friends, this is life. Um, I, I have faith that you know God will turn around the situation, and um, I'll I'll see the light. Uh, one day, you know, but, but at the moment I need to bear, be with my daughter, support her, even if it's with my own life, I need to be with her. Okay, enjoy your weekend and God bless you, cheers and bye.